Jim, thank you so much. We've got uh, Coach uh, Chris Neal with us. And, Coach, uh, tell us your, your, your thoughts about today's match. Really uh, proud of our effort. I thought we played, honestly, the first half might have been our best 45 minutes of the year. That's a very good team we played today. And we, uh, even with the win in our face, I thought we were very, very good. Uh, at the end of the day, we, we could have scored more goals and did not. And, um, you know, they've got heavy, heavy international experience on that side. And the difference today was set pieces, you know. They've got quite a few players that have a lot of professional playing experience at the highest levels in England. And on their first set piece, that quality comes through. We had the exact same chances they had, but they executed at a much, much higher level on the set pieces than we did. And if I'm going to point to one thing on the day that, that hurt us, that was it. In the first half, of course, you got uh, that early lead, uh, put the Seahawks on top, and um, it was great to see that you were able to capitalize on some good play to get that first goal. Yeah, wonderful. A uh, couple of easy, simple passes in the middle of the park that ultimately sprung some service for us. And, uh, that was a very clinical first goal. We need to repeat that, those actions a few more times, and we'd score more. In the second half, again, um, your team gave up the goal, but they seemed to level things off. It did not allow Hofstra to get a lot of momentum there. Um, and then, of course, it came down to some tr transition opportunities for, for Hofstra, again, uh, putting pressure on you. But we, you knew they were going to come out and put pressure down one nothing at the half. Yeah, I mean, well, we knew we were going to pressure them as well because we, we had the win in the second half, and we did. And it never felt like we were going to concede again. But again, um, they caught us on the counter. A couple of players of professional quality. And it's just a team that is hard to budget for sometimes because they don't need a lot of chances to punish you. And um, that was the story of the day. And, of course, uh, I know you don't have a full medical report on Summer getting hurt early in the first half, and she's been key for you uh, as a defender. And her going down, I know that was a, a tough blow for you early. It sure sure was. She, um, she was pushed into the post, so I'd have to watch it again on replay. But it felt like it should have been a bookable offense, but it wasn't. Um, but she's in pain. Um, she hit square into that post with her back, and her back spasmed immediately. So... Um, Hopefully that's something that calms down over the next couple of days because Summer's a big piece of what we're doing. She's been playing really well. And even on that moment, she was a unbelievable defensive play she made. Yeah, she made a great play. And I guess now we go back on the road to uh, Campbell. Yeah, we get Thursday off, so we got a week to prepare. And uh, that's another huge conference uh, three points for us on the line. All right, Coach. Uh, again, a good battle by the Seahawks today. Coming up short against Hofstra by the score of 2-1. to one. Back to you, Jim. All right, thanks.